Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Changing the operational aspects of PowerPoint can be done by setting the options for the program. Note that changing the default options in PowerPoint can change the default behavior of the program and therefore should only be performed by advanced users who thoroughly understand the options. In this lesson, we will review some of the most commonly used options in PowerPoint. Some of these options have already been discussed at various points in the tutorial in the context of their use within the application. You can access the default options in PowerPoint by clicking the File tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Options command at the left side of the Backstage view. In the PowerPoint Options dialog box, you can click the name of an option category shown in the list of categories at the left side of the window to display the options you can set for that category in the right pane of the window. Note that many of the options are self-explanatory. However, some options that may need explanation appear in the Options section with a small I at the right end. If you hold your mouse pointer over the I icon, a screen tip will appear that gives you more information about the option. If you click the General Category, you will see some of the most frequently changed options in PowerPoint displayed in the right side of the window. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes shown to enable or disable these features. Also, you can customize your copy of PowerPoint by entering your username and initials into the text boxes provided. Clicking the Proofing category will display the default proofing options. These options control the behaviors of tools such as Autocorrect and the Spelling tool. You can check or uncheck the options here to change the settings used by these tools when proofing presentation content. If you click the Save category, you will see options that allow you to change how presentations are saved by default in PowerPoint. In the Save Presentations section, you can use the Save Files in this format drop-down to set the default presentation format to use when saving PowerPoint presentations. You can also set the default behavior of the Auto Recover feature, choosing how often this information is saved and where this information is saved. Also, when saving your presentations to your computer, you can set a new default folder to which you can save the presentations. In the Advanced category, you will see many of the advanced options for all categories. Each set of advanced options is grouped together by subcategory at the right side of the panel. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes to enable or disable the features shown in each section. Once you've set the options that you would like, you can click the OK button to save your changes and close the dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.